Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back. Yes, oh my God, an interstage window on Sunday. It's cause I wanted to play WoW. I wanted to play, I wanted to play WoW. I wanted to play WoW. <laughs> so we're, we're doing, we're doing a WoW episode. Um, I have, I have some LaCroix. Cause I was so thirsty. That actually, that tired, that tired my voice out like way more than, than it did last time or than I thought it would or any of that. Anyways, here we go. Okay, come on, show the game. There we go. I, got, I had to go fast because I saw the boat was here. Anyways, we're, we're in Booty Bay. We're in Booty Bay because I was fishing in between streams. Um, I was fishing and I needed to get that axe shipment anyways. So there we go. What's this little shiny shine on the screen? I don't know. Oh, was it a Pokemon? Was it coughing? Maybe it was coughing. Yeah, and I organized my pages and I got those out the bank. I have page 1, 2, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, and 12. So I can't make any chapters. <laughs> can't make any chapters. We're going to see what we can do. We're going to see what we can do. Yeah, Jane, have you ever started the Pokemon chat game? Because if you start it then you can catch the Pokemons. It's like exclamation poke start to start it. And then, and they appear on the screen and stuff so you can see them. So anyway, it was serendipitous that I was in Booty Bay because I needed to, to pick that up anyways. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna fly back over. Why am I taking the boat when I could hearth? <sighs> Truly. Where is, where is my brain? Where, where? I don't have it. I feel like, I feel like it is not here. What the heck? I could hearth back to Ash and, Ash and Bale. Now I have to wait for the boat to land. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't hearth. So I can use it later. Maybe I should just fly. So I don't have an hour of where I can't hearth at all. Because that was kind of scary yesterday in the Furbog area. Look at that. He has a mount. I want to mount someday. Let's see if we can hit 30 today. Let's see if we can hit 30. I believe in us. Their name is Attack Attack. What a name. What a name. Yeah, I assume it was the coughing, Jane. It had to have been, right? Unless you're talking about my blinding highlight right there on the cheek. What? What's that? Blinding. Not really. It's just like a tiny bit of highlight. Okay, yeah. Let's fly. So we can fly to Zoramgar, turn in a few things. Money, friend! Is it real? Okay. Yeah, we'll fly over to Zormgar, turn in a couple things, then we'll go get Shadumbra. I appreciate you guys, like, being cool with switching over to WoW because, like, my voice was just tired <laughs> trying to do all those different voices. I don't know. Maybe just today is a low energy day or something. I just couldn't do it. There's a little blooper gem, itty bitty, like small. I can see your eye. It moved once. I don't know, but it's gone now. Oh, oh, like that. Is it like in the corner? Corner? It's glitter. It's glitter. Eyeshadow. That's all. But we love glitter. 
I thought today, like, I don't want to do, like, a full eyeshadow look with different colors or whatever, but, like, I couldn't skip the, the glitter. Couldn't skip the glitter. I gotta, I gotta bling bling out. It's, like, very important to me that my skin literally glows. So Jane, when are you gonna play WoW with me? I know it's not as pretty as um as your preferred games, but like I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I think you I think you would have some fun with it. Since you like MMOs, sort of, kind of. <laughs> I say that knowing not really. I know you only like the cosmetic aspects. Which classic doesn't really have cosmetic aspects. But there is transmog in uh in, in Wrath when you play ESO with me. Well, damn it. I'm in. <laughs> is ESO free to play? Or do you have to, is it monthly subscription? Right, back to the Ashenvale slowdown. I swear, like, this zone makes my FPS drop, like, every time we play in it. We'll be done with it soon, though. Yes, okay. Is it like one of those kind of games where you can free to play up to a certain point and then like if you get to max level or something you have to pay? The pay for game is it, game free to play is actually really good. Okay. Because a lot of these games have that where like you can free to play it for the most part and I can be your sugar, your sugar daddy, obviously, obviously. I don't know if I have time for another game because I'm obsessed with Sunhaven right now as well, but knowing that ESO has free to play, I could try it maybe. So in between, so after we, um, you can do a lot as free to play. That's good, that's good. So um, after yesterday, we did level up our enchanting and tailoring just a little bit based on the tailoring, the cloth drops that we got. I also fixed my, I got my defense up again. Oh my God, it takes forever. Um, Stabs is up. Wands is maxed. I've got dagger skill a little bit more. I think you'd love it. I probably would. I probably would. It's not a question, I don't think, of whether I'd enjoy the game. I think it's more of a question of like, can I dedicate the time? You know, like, do I have the time to play? <laughs> A game like that. I feel like this is a little loud. I'm turning down my desktop volume. Like, wow, is a little bit noisy. Um, it's like time, you know. <clears throat> it's like how how to maintain working 40 hours a week and hobbies. You know, there's just too many games in the world. Too many games in the world. And you don't play ESO religiously, right? Like, you just play every once in a while. It's not like an active, constant thing. In. Troll Hall. Go forth to victory. Strength for the horde. I have over 7k hours, but probably only 5 in the last year. Okay, I know what you mean. So, like, overall tons, but not, lo not a lot lately. Zug Zug. I played 4 to 13 hours a day most days for way too long. I've definitely had times uh, with WoW where I have played like literally every possible moment that I didn't have to do something else. You know, like, uh, you know, come home from work, start playing, eat dinner while playing, you know, that type of situation. I've definitely done that. <laughs> so I know exactly what you mean. 
Okay, we're gonna fly to Splinter Tree, and then we're gonna run back over and do Shadumbra over here. To be 25 again, I know, right? Holy fuck. For the first few years out of college, like, I was so free. Because college had me pretty busy, you know? But then once I started working, I was like, fuck. Working is so much easier than college. Like, I don't know, I did a call center job, which for me was a very easy brain dead job. Like, it was so simple. I could do it so easy. Man, if that job paid more, I would have been in a call center for forever. But it just didn't, you know? It just didn't. And it did get boring after a few years. Yeah, no drugs, no games in college. Yeah, for real. I was too busy. But after college, like my first few years of working, that was probably the freest ever. Now, I didn't have no money. I didn't have no money. But I had all the free time in the world because my brain, I didn't need to dedicate my brain to working because my job was so easy. So like I would work at work all day and I would just like RP, you know, just RP all day long. And then I would come home and I would play video games for hours and hours and hours all night, you know, and get up and do it the whole, all the next day. So much free time, so much free time. And I would continue to do a job like that. That was really easy like that. If it, if they paid more, if there was such a thing as a brain dead job like that, that paid enough, I would do it. Now, to be clear, that job was not brain dead for everybody. There were people that really struggled with it, but for me, it was so easy. And I think that for everybody, there's probably jobs that are like that, that are super easy for them, but none of them are super high paying. I'm not bored at work anymore though. You know, even though my job does take brain power, I'm not bored. So that's a plus. Because being bored at work is very annoying. Me too, I'll do the most boring ass shit for cash, man. I need to find it for real. For real. Give me the 80k a year call center job. <laughs> so easy. So easy, but I don't think that exists. You know what I'm saying? If it did though, I would do it. I would so do it. I wanna be bored. Greetings, yeah, I know what you mean. Please, for real. Just unfortunately, they don't exist, really. Yeah, yeah. 80k your call center job, I want it. Give it to me. All right, let's get our blueberry. We get Shadumbra, and we gotta go get a file from um, the, from the sisters. We need to borrow their nail file. <laughs> we need to borrow their nail file. They have really nice ones for their hooves, so we need one. So we'll run over there and get it. You know, it would also it would also need to be a job with benefits. Like that's the other thing. Like I've thought about that before. Like if I was ever gonna really seriously pursue like streaming and content creation and stuff as a career, you know, like how much money I would have to make to offset the fact that there are zero benefits. Like there's no 401k, there's no health insurance, mostly no health insurance, you know, whatever. And it's like, I would have to make so much more than I would make it like a day job with health insurance and 401k and stuff. Like it's ridiculous. Cause I've thought about that before. Like, okay, well how much would I have to make for that to actually be a thing? It's a lot. Oh, the Tyrant Devil Sword is what got this 60. Oh man, it's always sad when you see a 60 die. I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't really notice it when it popped up. I just heard the pop, but I didn't read it. Man, that Devil Sword is something. Harpies. Those harpies are dangerous. I'm 
And it looks like we've got Ordonis next, so hopefully there's somebody interested in doing Ordonis today. That should be right up here. All right, Shadumbra. Where are you, babe? Am I wearing my staff? I'm wearing my staff. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> that was a mistake. Oh well, we killed her easy. With our buttons in the wrong spot. That's what I was trying to do, move it, but whatever. It's okay. We're gonna get some duplicate pages too. Okay, down here. So Shadumbra should be somewhere right around over here. Alpha Chad, what a name. People have the craziest names in this game. Oh, and they probably just finished a number two. Oh, got the etched file. That was fast. We'll go fill it in a minute. See if we can find Shadumbra first. Where did that Alpha Chad go? Oh, is the cat stealth? Oh. Shadumbra, where are you? Oh, there you are. You're way over there. Okay. We're coming for you, kitty cat. Okay. He's in a good position. Away from those bears. Let's get him. And of course a bear comes in. Been waiting on my Abigail reply for several minutes. That's the news. Oh my god. <laughs> did you just did you just reply to her? Did you just reply to her? Alright, it's Ordonis time. Another reply done? Okay. I'll have to reply back. I know I took forever. I'm like, I'm sorry I'm so slow. I'm like, I know I'm ridiculous. That's why I'm trying to keep it to like very, very few threads so it's not like so super problematic that I'm ridiculously slow. Okay, let's try to find a group for Adonis. We definitely can't do that alone. No, I didn't notice because I'm too fucking behind, dude, really? <laughs> oh, good. I don't feel so bad then. I don't feel so bad because I only have like, I'm trying to keep it to where I only have like two or three threads growing at once. So it's, so it's not too crazy. But I just replied this morning, so you were fast for me. Oh, sweet. Okay. 
Already got a whisper. Ordonis, we're coming for you. Let's kill this sister. Nice, getting a whole group. Yes, yes. I mean, we're about to be full. Man, it was so... What a good idea to switch over. What a good idea. There's so many people. Bye, sister. Who's up in there? Devoke. Don't worry, Devoke. I'm coming to help you. I'm just trying to clear out the entrance for our friends. So they can get here easily. What? Did the blink dragon just do a vanish? It did. Oh my god. How annoying. What the heck? Stop it. There we go. Good lord. He could have just got dead from the inevitable. You're so vicious with your little level 29. Thank you, Rascal. Thank you, it's true. <laughs> we cut throat here. We cut throat. How are you, by the way? How did you find my, um, my stream, if you don't mind my asking? I always like to hear from you guys. Yeah, I so get him. Okay, it looks like our friends are here, so let's switch over to the MP. We're about to hit 30. If we hit 30, this is the farthest I've ever gotten. It's like watching a full-on gangster film here. It's true. I'm a gangster. What is it that the, um, what is it they say? In the man- ooh, that's an upgrade. That's not what they say. I say in the manosphere. Top G, top G. Top G, top G. That's me. Except for reals, not fake.
Um, church is over and the five kids were crazy. They were crazy, Lunar. I'm so sorry. It's because I was trying to smooch a demon. I failed, by the way. I failed and my voice was tired. So I just decided like not to uh, do all that and switch back over to WoW. How was church otherwise? Was it still good? Just the kids, kiddos be crazy? Four people, this is no problem. They barely even get to spawn too many of the forces of nature. Just one round of them. Alright. Sweet. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. Without being offensive in any way, I watch the stream. I scroll down, 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 down to the unpopulated ones. You get better interactions with the smaller streams. Oh my god, it's true. It's true, though. It's true. I don't think that's offensive. It's just true. Um, if I see more than 100 people in a stream, I know that that nobody's going to really talk to me in there. It's just not going to work like that. So um, same. If it, Once it gets over 100 viewers, I typically I just it's just different. It's like a different vibe. You know what? You know that if I watch a stream, I scroll up. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's true. No, it's true, though. Oh, I didn't even really get to say thank you to the peoples. They all left before I said before I got a chance. It's okay. Uh, let's leave the party. Not only are you dealing with a company versus a streamer, true. Yeah, a lot of times that's very true. It was okay. It's cold outside, so I was not into it today. My bed and blankets are very comfy. Oh, I wanted to stay in bed like a cinnamon roll. Oh my god, Lunar. Lunar, you need to get to the East Coast. It is so hot. Like, I don't know, like, all of a sudden it's, like, way hotter. Um, I don't really know what's up with that, but, um, but yeah, this I weekend is really warm. Like Not that place. it's ever really cold here or anything, you know, but, like, it's just especially warm for October. Because we've had some cold days, and then all of a sudden it's, like, really freaking hot. 50 degrees in Kentucky and raining everywhere, holy crap. Supposed to get down to the 20s this week? Yeah, I think it's supposed to get colder again, um... But this weekend is just really warm. I hope it's not super warm on, on Halloween. With trick-or-treaters and stuff. It's really hard trick-or-treating when it's so hot with costumes and everything. I don't miss Florida, brah. <laughs> I'm originally from Alabama. I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. But yeah, East Coast is really hot right now. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, I think to get to the satyrs, I need to go up north and then around. I think there's a little path up here that I can use. Yeah, I'm not, I haven't looked at what it's actually supposed to do during the week yet, so I'm not 100% sure, but I hope it's not so freaking hot. <clears throat> I hope, I hope. East Coast is fired up with all the real world crap going on right now, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The world is crazy right now. Considering that's where all of our politicians are living, my god. <laughs> Politics aren't banned here, but since you're new, you don't necessarily know the vibe, so I don't know what kind of where you're getting into, so just yeah. <gasps> is that snacks for me? Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Okay, well, I'm gonna eat this. Anywho, what's the goal today? Goal today is get past 30. Get past 30. Um, no, because I've got LaCroix on water. I think I'm okay. Thank you, though. Okay, I got snacks, you guys. Look, we got meatballs and little smokies. Um, because it's Sunday, so it's football day today. So, wait, before we go get into the Seder area, let me just try these. Because I think he did it with like a um, sweet and sour sauce or something. I can't remember what sauce it was. But I know it was like Asian inspired. 
I was just blaming them for the weather. Might as well blame someone. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> mm hmm mm hmm That's good. That's good. Ooh. Well, the meatball's really good. That's what I just bit. You said the meatballs was teriyaki? Teriyaki chicken meatballs. They're delicious. Huh? And pineapple. Oh, I do see some pineapple in the little bits in there. It's really good. Thank you very, very much. It's okay. I'm expecting a full-on grind. Well, we are questing, my friend. We are questing, and we're trying. Um, I don't, We won't get to 40. <laughs> we won't get to 40 today. But that would be so cool. If we get... um, This is officially the farthest I've gotten on Hardcore. So you know some background. We... um. I had a, I had two druids that I tried to play. Those were like my off-stream characters. Both druids, dro druids died in their 20s. Didn't make it. Ended up transferring the second one to Manfred. And she's in her 30s now. Whatever. Anyways, this is my stream character, though. This warlock is my stream character. And so far, she's not dead. So, what that says to me is that stream is lucky. You guys make me not die. So I really, really appreciate that for you. Because when I play by myself... Around this time, I do something stupid and I die. Like going into like castles by myself. Or doing escort quests by myself where I think the NPCs are going to tank for me. And then they fucking don't, you know? But, um, but here with y'all, but here with y'all, um, we survive. Okay, hopefully the oil is here too. Hopefully the oil's up here too. We can get that. And then we will be almost done with that quest. We just gotta talk to the goblin girl. So yeah, Rascal, we're gonna do as much as we can until the end of stream time and, and we should hit 30 and get past it. You got horns coming out of your head, might wanna get that looked at. Rascal, I don't know what you're talking about. I was born with these. This is just this part of my head. This part of my head. I was born with them. And, um, you know, we really don't appreciate um, horn bigotry around here. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. Because I always have them. That's not true. Sometimes we're a cat girl instead. <clears throat> when we start up 10-2 again, we'll go back to Cat Girl. Our Final Fantasies are Cat Girl games. The moment when you know why someone got picked on in school mood. <laughs> true, 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 true. Don't be jelly. I know the horns look good. It's okay to it's okay to be a little jealous, but you shouldn't ex um, express that. Those should be inside thoughts, you know. In the head thoughts. Not expressed thoughts. We all have them, it's okay. I'm too far away to tell if the oil's up there. Hopefully it's up there and we don't have to go to the other Seder camp. Definitely don't want to bother going all the way over there. Oh, I need my invis. So I see the guys better. Haha, -ha, there's the oil! Yes. Very good, very good. My wife has her own pair as well, so I was hoping I could get you to find a way to remove them for science reasons. That way I can suggest the same to her without risk of punishment. Oh. <laughs> no, you should just accept her horns for what they are. A beautiful part of her. Don't try to remove them. You'll kill her spirit. Excuse you. Excuse you. Rude. Popping out the shadows like that. You don't agree. Yeah, this is much comfier on my voice, you guys. I appreciate you being chill with us not doing, um monster camp the whole time. I think it's because we got Damien at first. 
I think it's because we got Damien at first and like I just do such a little growly thing for his voice and it was just like too much on me. She's killing mine, brah. <laughs> Maybe there's a problem there between both of you. I'm just saying. Accept each other. There's another invis bitch right there. No, it would be cool if I could summon a satyr. If that was like one of the demons I could summon. Wouldn't that be neat? Warlock summon satyr? I would love that. Twelve years of past accepting one another at this point, we're just in it for the tax season and lack of motivation to find someone new. <laughs> I've also been with my husband for forever. Um, we got together when I was in college, and um, you know, it just kind of worked out. And eventually, we got married and stuff like that. Now we've been together for like literally forever. But I like a routine, you know. I think there's something like good about that. Like, the predictability. Because <clears throat> life, other parts of life are too unpredictable, like, anyways. Like, you can't do anything about it. So at least the parts that you can, you should, I think. Like, where, where appropriate, where possible. It's easier with the comfort level, sure, yeah, yeah. Okay, where do you turn in Ordonis at? Oh, back at Sunrock Retreat, geez. <clears throat> so after we kill these satyrs for their horns, there's really only one more quest here that's a problem, which is the, the totem. So we have to do a group for that. And then, oh my god, my bags are so full. Um, and then it's pages, which hopefully we'll get more page drops, so that we're, we're good on that. Let's see. Yeah, we still don't have page three. I have an extra page one and two. What is this, page 10? Page one. Yeah, I just have extra pages. I'm not getting very good page drops. Oh, this was that upgrade. I need to put it on. So we'll need somebody to do the um, King of the Foul Wild quest with us. So hopefully that will be pretty easy like Ordonis was. And then... No problemo. Mmm! Oh wait, four was a page that we needed. Mm -hmm, mm hmm Now we just need three, seven, and eleven. I'm older. Dating's out of the question anymore for me. I'd be an idiot run a restaurant asking my date what the pronouns are. How dare I not know? How dare you not know for real? You should be asking that on the app. On the app um, before you meet them. Tinder or whatever everybody uses. And the fact that you use after, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm just, I'm speaking out my ass because that came about after I was already with my husband, so I've never done it on an app. Vegetable second of the section of the supermarkets where it's at. I don't even know. Yeah, 
Yeah, but I would think stuff like that would be pretty easy nowadays because you would know from talk chatting with them before you meet. So I think that would be easier than it was before. And we are all super inclusive here, by the way. So whatever pronouns people want to use, they can use. It's totally chill. We just cleared out- we cleared out the whole camp, but we still don't quite get enough horns. <laughs> I was just complaining and then I get two two drops in a row. Okay, yeah, it's just bears out here. Okay, let's go back. Changes over the past ten years, dating has changed. Everything changes. But yeah, that's true. I think COVID changed a lot of it too. I think there's a lot more incentive um, since COVID to use apps and stuff like that. Like, I know it was a thing um, before COVID, but I think that everybody being kind of trapped inside for that year kind of um, changed expectations and things of that nature in regards to, like, how you meet people and how you talk with people. And that's, like, totally changed everything. So, like, anybody that was unsure about that prior... I think uh, COVID probably changed their mind, and now they would do it using an app. I feel jealous that her eyes are better than mine in that instance. Well, of course they are. <laughs> if she's a lady as well. That makes sense to me. Game recognizes game, I guess. Exactly. I can't cast them. You're totally picking up what I'm putting down. <laughs> there we go! 30! 30, 30, 30, 30, 30! We got our new wand! Disenchant the old one. Heck yes. Okay. Let's go. Now we bust an out. Give it one minute. I'll be back to dark and confused as heck again. <laughs> the natural state. <laughs> I like that it's not a fire wand anymore, so now I won't run into weird issues with um, resists, I don't think. Because I'm doing... What kind of damage is this? Nature damage. I don't think there's as much that, um... I don't think there's as much that, like, resists nature damage. So it should be way better. Oh, you got Snivy! Good starter. Is that a page I need? I think it is. Yes, I can do chapter three. Hell yes. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. We're still missing seven and three. Seven and three. 
So it's only two pages we might have to buy from the auction house. Hopefully they are not expensive. Hopefully they are not expensive. <laughs> I have a little small fear. Oh, there's seven! <gasps> Man, lucky, lucky, lucky! Okay, we're just missing one page now. We're just missing one page now. Oh, we about to poke down on this mug. Yeah, we love Pokemon. We love Pokemon. Oh, I guess I can tell you since you're hanging out a bit. Um, we play a lot of like 90s and 2000s games, hence the World of Warcraft. Um, so we also have done a Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. Um, and when we did that, that's when we started having the Pokemon chat game. Um, but other stuff I have on, on, and you can find all this on my YouTube channel. Um, other stuff I have is like 100% run through of Final Fantasy X. I have 100% run through of Majora's Mask. Um, we're currently working on a 200% run of um, Final Fantasy X-2. We've done our first playthrough. We did New Yevon run. So we're gonna we're doing starting a new game plus with Youth League really soon. Um, and then of course we'll do all the, the monster, the theme tales. So yeah, like that's the type of stuff. Oh, and a lot of Sims 2. We play a lot of Sims 2. Like we have a legacy challenge. The legacy challenge is on pause right now because for playing WoW. Um, but we're on generation six on that and we'll get back to it at some point. And um, Pleasant View, we play Pleasant View also. Rotationally on Sims 2. So that's kind of like in general what we've got here. And we've got a media analysis podcast. So me and my friend Landon, we will like read a book, watch a movie or whatever, and do like a podcast like analysis on it. So this year, our big project was all the Hunger Games books and movies. So in December, when the new, um, when the new movie comes out, uh, Songbirds and Snakes, the prequel movie comes out, we'll go, we'll go watch that and we'll let y'all know what we think. Yeah, poor veggie potato. Poor veggie potato and Desolus with, from an undead ravager. Poor thing, poor thing. Okay, I just need one more horn. Give me your horn, boy. I need it. We need level 30 training skills. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back to org to get, get some skills. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I need to pick up that quest. We're gonna probably finish Ashenvale first, though. Hellfire? No way am I gonna use Hellfire in, uh, in, um, hardcore. Like, absolutely not. Okay, in life level 3, but I will use that. But no Hellfire. Not for hardcore. Which is sad. Although even like in regular playing, I don't really use Hellfire. Was page three the one I needed? Page three is the one I needed! Yes, we didn't have to auction house any pages. We are so fucking lucky, you guys. Come on, one Hellfire, no. No, I don't even like to use Hellfire in, like, when I play just regular classic because, like, people are dumb and the healer won't heal me because they'll be like, you're hurting yourself. Like, they won't heal me for, um, life tapping even. Like, how they will heal me for Hellfire, you know what I'm saying? Like, now if I have a good healer that knows what's up when it comes to Warlocks, then, like, they will. But, um, that's not most healers. Most healers do not give a fuck, do not care and they don't understand, and they will not heal me. Which is sad, because Hellfire is my only viable AoE. Like, Reign of Fire is just dumb. Like, why would I ever? It doesn't do shit. I got you. Downloaded Classic Hardcore Rolling Priest Holy Healer. Fuck yeah. 
Thank you. My hero. B30 in 10 minutes. Good luck. Don't you worry, I've eaten it. Especially now that we're running. I don't have things to fight. Thank you so much for the follow, friendo. Thank you so much. Making it to 30 has made me both terrified and elated. This is the farthest that I made it, so I feel a little bit like high on that right now. But um But uh it's scary because like if I fail, it'll be like so bad because it's the farthest I've made it. The black box on the side of the screen. Oh, this is um RPX RXP Rested XP guide. So it like gives me a suggested order to like do the quests in and stuff. We kind of sort of follow it. Not exactly, but kind of sort of. If it's not convenient to follow it, we don't. Is your husband at least streaming this on his phone? Oh no, he doesn't watch. He has his own hobbies. He has his own hobbies. Right now, since it's like the last season, he's been playing a lot of Diablo 4. And he cooks. So right now he's actually cooking. Hence why I got the snack. He helps me in other ways. I think with coming when it comes to like watching streams like it's a very particular person you know that's watching them in a very particular audience especially on twitch with like a lot of interactivity with the chat and things like that you know so i think it's just like it's a it's a only a certain sort of person that would that watches this sort of stuff anyways started on d2 then went to wow for years vanilla up and then went back to diablo he's played every Di diablo one two three four every single one like, he doesn't play, like, religiously, like, all the time. But, like, when it's time for a new season, like, he'll play. You know? Okay. Um, now we can go back? The Splinter Tree. Okay, we might as well hearth. Diablo and PlayStation was the goat? Yeah. Yeah, he plays it on console. And he definitely plays more console games in general. What can I do for you? Like last time we moved, um, he didn't even uh, set up his computer. Like it's still sitting in the closet, oh, the tower. Maybe. It's in the closet. So. We shall meet again. May the eternal sun shine upon thee. All right, is that an upgrade? 
It is an upgrade. Attack power, win fighting beasts. Oh, but it removes... I don't think that's really for me. I don't think that's really for me. Kind of reverse for my wife and I. I'm PC guy, she's console. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, what is this? I have to bring you a deadly blunderbuss? I forgot about that. Glad I could help. Pleasure God, doing please don't let them be expensive. You. I've already turned in everything at Zormgar, so I don't need to do that. Fly to Thunder Bluff. I really need to do my skills. But, okay. We'll fly to Thunder Bluff. Strength and honor. May and then we will we'll check the auction house while we're there for a deadly blunderbuss to try to get that. The black box I'm referring to, I think, is part of your stream overlay. Oh, it's closed captioning. You're talking about my closed captioning add-on. Yeah, hopefully the deadly blunderbusses are not too expensive. I'm a little scared because I don't got no money. I don't have like one. I have, well, I have more money than I had before. It's not spitting words out. It's just black. Oh, I don't know. I have to look at it. But it's supposed to be closed captioning. Like that's the intent. Okay. That can go in the bank. Too much junk. thing doesn't go on um I was trying to see about the closed captioning that you're talking about but I can't view it on mobile I think I have to pull it up on my computer here streamception while we're flying let me check out see what's going on Yeah, I don't know. It says it's on, but I don't see it spitting out words either. No, we're going to close that because I'm sure it makes the stream look really crappy and tanks my FPS. Maybe that maybe the add-on just doesn't work the way it used to. I don't know. It used to work. But a lot of these add-ons like change. Things change in them, you know, and then they stop working and I don't realize it because I'm not watching my own stream live. You know, I just look at the recordings afterwards. Oh, that's quest item too. All right, disenchant these two, put all this crap in the bank, sell shit, auction house. But it's gonna have a pick us, us pick up steel snap. In addition to turning these things in.
But it looks like the guide's kind of jacked in this step because it's like fly to Thunder Bluff and then it's hearth to Splinter Tree. But like, why? And then it fly back to Thunder Bluff. Like, that don't make no sense. We'll just tell it to skip those steps and see what it says to do. Yeah, I've had to change closed captioning bots a couple of times, so I wouldn't be surprised if that one's broken and I just didn't know it. That's probably the, th the third one that I've used over the whole time that I've been streaming, so... Makes sense. <clears throat> that it wouldn't work anymore. Because I think it's hard for them, I think it's hard for those bots to figure out, like, what's the voice and what to pick up and stuff. And I think that they, like, just, it's just hard to keep them updated. So they die pretty quick when they come out. That's my perception anyway. I don't really know, I'm just guessing. Except Steel Snap because it's going to send me over to uh, Thousand Needles soon. That place is scary. I see a lot of falling deaths in Thousand Needles. Not looking forward to that terror. There's a loyalty command for the pokey game? I don't even know. I don't even know. I guess I, I, I just do always do pokey catch over and over and that's like all I ever do with the game. You just found it? Did you look at the directions? Were you looking at the directions? I never look at the directions. If you scroll down, Lunar, um, I have the extension in my about, so you just need to get to there and you'll see it. Let's see if the auction house has deadly blunderbuss. Okay, sweet. We afforded it. Nice. Put the shit in the bank. Horsey. Ancestors watch over you. It's been so long since we did our Nuzlocke. Hey. Mentioning it kind of made me feel nostalgic for Nuzlocke. Farewell. Greetings, traveler. Goodbye. Hail. 
We should do one soon. I kind of feel like that. Like maybe that's what we should do when we're finished with our 200% run of 10-2. Maybe instead of doing another Final Fantasy, I should do a Nuzlocke. It's gonna be a while though. We're gonna play through the game all again, although it's not gonna take nearly as long since it's a new game plus, so we'll skip a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna play through it all again, and then we're gonna, we're gonna do the Fiend Tales in a third playthrough, so. Yeah. Have you ever streamed a Nuzlocke Lunar? I don't remember. I don't think I've seen one on your channel before. They're really fun. It was so fun when we did ours. Whee! Oh. Oh, it's under. Herder. I have not think I should. Yes. Yes. How I did it was like on stream, I did all, all of my trainer battles and, and all that stuff on stream. But then I would um, do my grinding off stream just because I thought that was kind of boring. <laughs> so I would do all my grinding in between each stream. Like during the week. And then on the stream time, once a week, we would progress with the trainer battles and stuff. What will you require? Remember, patience, discipline. I think I already... Tree silk bandage. Yeah, we have to get our first aid thing. Do you get the silk bandage just at 150? Is that how that works? I thought I needed to get my book from Dust, um, Dustful and Marsh. I still think I have my Eevee overlay I made when we played Let's Go Eevee. Fuck yeah. You totally should. I don't know whichever game you want, but you, sh you should totally do a Nuzlocke. It was really fun. Okay, no, I can just read it. Okay, sweet. Ancestors watch over. Oh, now it's sending me a thousand needles. Okay, well, we're actually going to go back. <clears throat> we're not going to go to thousand needles yet. We're going to go back to Ashenvale and finish up Ashenvale. No quest incomplete. I believe we made it to 30, y'all. Honestly, my mind is so blown. Well met. Okay, Org is on the way, so we'll stop in Org and train our skills. And then we'll go to Ashenvale. I think we'll do one soon. Yes! Yes, you so should. Okay, so if you do one, which game would you do? So we'll train our skills and then we'll go to Ashenville and do King of the Foul Weld. I think turning in Ardanas gets us the other elite quest for that for the den area.
and I don't think we're quite ready to do that because we're like right at level to do it. I want to be a little bit over level, of course, since it's elite and we'll have to find a group and stuff. So make it easy peasy. I have a little hangnail. I did my nails today and I didn't I didn't take care of this little hangnail. This is my Halloween for, for actual Halloween manicure. Like, see that? I got it's like blood red and then black sparklies. Ooh. And I filed them down. They were too long. So I got rid of the, the white and I got rid of the oval shape and the white, you know, for my Barbie costume. I got rid of all that. I don't know what I'm going to do for the kids, though. That's why I'm hoping it's cool so I can put on my unicorn onesie and do that for my, for like the Halloween for trick-or-treaters. That's what I'm hoping for. But if it's hot, then I'll put on like, um, something and I'll wear my Sims, my Sims headband. Do it like that. But I don't think any of the kids will get that. Only the parents would get that. So, you know. I would prefer to be the, do the unicorn onesie. Because my husband has a matching gorilla onesie. Like, they go together. It's very cute. Or very adorable. <clears throat> All right, let's go get our skills. Yeah, that was delicious. Thank you. Um, not right now. I think I eat more after stream. For football day today, we have a we have a theme every Sunday of our football day snacks, and it's um Chinese. So that's why it was like, well, it's like it's like Chinese asterisk. <laughs> it's more like general general Asian, um, because that's why it was like teriyaki pineapple flavor and stuff. And then um, and then we're gonna have some some dumplings. We're gonna have some egg rolls. It's gonna be delicious. I miss handing out candy. One year I had a bunch of kids asking me if I was Maleficent's sister. I wasn't. And I rolled into that character the entire night. Fuck yeah, Alpha Tiff. I love that for you. Do you not have trick-or-treaters in your current neighborhood? So I will tell you, um, I did not have trick-or-treaters as an adult until this house. And last year at Halloween, it was like magical. There was children everywhere. I was like so happy. Um, I just had not experienced that since I was a kid. Just the neighborhoods that I lived in just did not have a lot of kids, you know, like it was apartments or whatever, or just like not that type of neighborhood. So it was so much fun. May your blades never dull. Oh, I need to do my talent point also. Yeah, fell domination. Fell domination. Absolutely. <laughs> Finally got the right button. What do you need? Teach me. Drain life. Yes, new demon armor. Uh, new immolate. Strength.
Okay. What is this? Alliance relations. What do you need? Be safe. Yeah, why not? We'll go talk to the org guy. Sinistee! Sorry you didn't get it. I like Sinistee. That's a cool one. I realize I don't remember. I don't really remember the um, Fell Hunter quest. I don't remember the doggy. What am I supposed to do? It says go to Ratchet, but I don't remember what happens after that. Is it also? Is this also when I do my robe quest? I think this is also when I do the robe. Um, no, sadly, my complex here is all adults are college students. Hope we get a house that so can have that fun again. Yeah, that's exactly what I experienced for the longest time, Alpha Tiff. But finally, and then, you know, we had a house before this. But um, it just was in a really, like, tucked away little neighborhood that just trick-or-treaters just didn't come to. There was kids there, just, like, not a lot. Um, and so they would go to other neighborhoods or they would do a trunk or treat or something like that, you know. But this neighborhood has a ton of families with kids. And so it's like, it's like, it's like a movie. <laughs> the amount um, is so good. It's so much fun. So I can't wait. We got lots of candy. Lots and lots of candy. Um, so we're going to hand that out on Halloween. And hopefully it won't be hot and I can wear my unicorn. Whee! <clears throat> This is sending me to Desolus. That is probably quite unnecessary at the moment. We might end up dropping that. I think it's going to be a minute before we go to Desolus. We're going to finish up Ashenvale. It looks like we're going to go do some Thousand Needles. we got to finish up Hillsbrad. It's going to be a minute. Which is also why my cooking is stuck where it is. I don't want to go to Desolus yet. I'm scared of it. You know, get the cooking book. I do hope you have fun. Yes, crossing figures for not fingers for not hot weather. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And you know, I believe in you getting into a house someday so that you can have trick or treaters again. I mean, I was there, like where you are, for so for so long. So I know exactly how you feel. Because I, I thought when I graduated college, you know, that uh, there would be trick-or-treaters again. But no, no, uh, no, <laughs> not for my, not for my income no level. Time. There were not. Okay. Um, and where I, where I lived and where I was comfortable with. Okay. So we're going to go, yeah, we're going to go back to Splinter Tree and we're going to finish up Ashenvale before we move on. This is another scary quest, so I'm, I'm pretty nervous. It could go horribly wrong.
Now, can I get the ship? Welcome, friend. Saw blades, Hurry please. Back. There we go. Okay. Wait, where's the turn in? I'm gonna reload my UI real quick. I think the turn in's over by the pages person, but I'm now I'm like questioning myself. Okay, yeah, 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 it's over there. It's over there. There's like all these little outposts before you even get to Splinter Tree Post. It's like really, really fortified. Thou hart go forth to victory. Ooh, uh, big upgrade. Dabu. Yes, yes, yes. There's Sharp Talon. Don't want to mess with him. I did not get an instant ping on my LFG King of the Foul World message. That does not bode well. Look around. Fight well, friend. That an upgrade? That's also an upgrade. Go for okay. victory. Good, good, good. Disenchant these. Okay, let's make our way over there. It's just it's just right down here. Definitely don't want to do this one by myself. I will not send you back, Tom Tom. You're here with me now. You hang out with me. That's how it do. And I got bites instantly on Ordonis. What's up? People don't want to do this quest? People don't want to kill the king of the foul world? It's like a wave quest, so... I definitely would not want to do it by myself. on a bad layer or something? Put it in the LFG chat instead of just general.
We're waiting for this person to finish the um, Seder quest, and they said they would join us. Oh, they're way up there. Okay. We can be patient, though. That's okay. been shouting for 20 minutes and now I'm in orc. Oh no. They can't join our group. Now I get in pings. Now I get in pings. I had somebody say they wanted to come, but they're in org. Oh, oh. Just kidding. They aren't in org. They're in they're in SFK. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, but we can totally do it with three. We'll start it up whenever um, the mage gets here. Here they are on their way. They're up by the other satyr area that we didn't have to go, thankfully, because the oil was spawned in the one that we were in. So we didn't have to go all the way up there. But that's the other satyr area. You can get satyr horns and stuff from there, too. And I think Alliance also has, like, more satyr quests than we do on Horde. So they have other things, and they I think they end up needing to go to that camp. Like, they don't get a choice. They have to. Did he start it? Holy fuck, why am I dying? Why am I dying? Did he start it? I was definitely not ready. Start it. I have no idea what just happened then. I guess they all just respawned? <laughs> Leroy Jenkins did. That's what I thought for a second. Maybe just respawns. Yeah, it must have just been respawns. Like, holy fuck, that was terrifying. But that's why I have Voidwalker sack. That was almost, that was almost a problem, you guys. That was almost a problem. I can't believe they all like repopped at the same exact time. That was insane. Is our mage friend almost here? Yeah, mage friend's almost here.
All right. With a mage, we got this shit. Yeah, okay. Let's go! King of the Foul Weld. Try not to die. Like, so low on mana, and I even have friends to help me, you know. Look at how low our mage is on mana. Like, this is like so impossible to solo. Like, look at all of them. There's the king. Finally. We did it! Oh man, it's not shared. Oh no! Oh no. Oh, it's- oh, it, he just needed to loot the jar. Okay, okay, okay. Crisis averted. Alright. Let's get our asses out of this popsicle stand. Yeah. Okay, and turn in is back in Zorovgar. And then we're done with Ashenvale. We did all of it. Just gotta fly back there.
right, so we'll run back to Splinter Tree. We'll fly over to Zoramgar, then we'll fly over to Ratchet to turn, excuse me, this in for level 30 Warlock stuff. And then we'll head to Camp T to run south and go to Thousand Needles. It's a lot of flying, but we still got lots of time, so we're good. Oh, in Ulda Man, Stone Stewart. That's not even a boss. That's the, that's the ad. Last words before boss DPS, the Stone Steward. Yeah, I think they do spawn with the boss though. I think that's the little ads with that one boss. What a shame. Ulda Man would be quite the place to die. Zug zug. Dabu. Oh, there's this airy scary tree. There's this scary tree that we've managed to avoid. Just trying to plan out my strategy with the rest of my talents. I definitely think I'm taking Fell Stamina next. I need to get to Demonic Sacrifice. That's the, that's the OP deeps. Oh, I think I just remembered what you do for the Fell Hunter. I think it's in Desolus. It's like stuff you have to kill the demons in that little corner of Desolus. Now that I think about it, I think that is what you do. But we're not going to bust ass to go get the puppy. 
because he's not that useful. Loktar, go forth to victory. Be safe. Fly over Strength to and honor. It. Strength. The rest of these, like I'm looking, it's like still all thousand needles. Yeah, this is just a 31. Like it really doesn't show like a ton of a ton of uh, steps in each thing. So I'm still over level of the guide, which is good because I think I'm 29 right now. Oh, here's Tear of the Moon, which we already did. It has you do it way later, that's funny. Like, on your way to Thousand Needles, that's when it has you do it. Yeah, I don't know. At, at level 30 now, as I've been using this guide for a minute, I feel like it is probably quite useful for people that do not have a lot of knowledge of the game. And it, it does help, like, me figure out, you know, what order to go in. Probably a little bit safer order than I would choose on my own. So, like, it's useful. But I don't think it's essential. This hangnail is super bothering me. I think I just bit enough of it off where it's not gonna bother me. Okay, do I have... I don't have any... Oh, there it is. I was like, I don't have any nail oil on my desk. How's that possible? It should be illegal. But I do, I do have some. Here we go. Nails all oiled. As they should be.
Oh, I think I have to go around this way. Little warlock overlook. Oh, this is... Okay, the robe quest is not yet. It must be in a couple more levels or something. Because that's who gives it to you, but it looks like at 30, I can't quite do it. Greetings. Hey, dude! See you around. Can I help you? Have a good one. See you later. Whee! Okay, that requires going to Undercity. So I'm sure I'll do that at some point. Okay, now we're going to fly over to Camp T. Right I'm going to go pee while we do that. I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, that was not fast like lightning for once. Because somebody did not leave much toilet paper on the roll, so I had to open a new thing. Um, what is this? Oh, Duswallow Dust Marsh got him. Theramore Skirmisher. Yeah, fuck Theramore. Yeah, that's no. No, no, no. make our way down this is another like falling spot where lots of people die so um big elevator boss i need all your pro gamer energy to not fall down this elevator i'm gonna be there and it's gonna be a minute before we get there because we gotta run all the way down here but yeah i'm gonna need the help Thank you, Lunar. Thank you. I know your pro gamer energy comes from the howls, so I appreciate it. And we gotta keep on the lookout for that Alliance patrol as well. Someday. 
Someday I'll have one. Ten more levels. We shouldn't really have to run through barons very much anymore. Well, we'll have to pick up that quest. And at some point we'll have to, like, fly to Camp T and, like, run this way to get around to Dust Wallow, but we're low enough now that I think running in there and picking up that flight path would be a bad idea. Right, it's right over here. Just past those little mountains right here that we never really ran past before. And there's two dungeons here. There's Razorfin Downs and Razorfin Crawl. And here's how and here's how you know which is which. Razorfin Downs for dead. That has the undead. And Razorfin Crawl is the live one. So D for dead. That's how you remember the difference between Razorfin Crawl and Razorfin downs in its quillbore dungeon. Okay, here we go. This lift is especially dangerous for Alliance because there's these two horde guards here, Torrens. Um, so like Alliance trying to get to Razorfen Crawl or Razorfen Downs like is really, really um, challenging. Because it's hard to get around these guards without them attacking you. For the most part, they want to attack you. There is like a path you can walk that will let you do it, but like it's not easy. And you have to know the path. Thanks, Meiji. Reminds me to do my own buff. So yeah, here we go. Another elevator. Yeah, these friends. Mm -hmm. 
Many, many Let's alliance deaths here. right here. Be careful. Greetings. Yeah, you cannot fall off of this. You will absolutely die. Okay. Let's try to find the messenger on our way to Freewind. And we'll pick up the Freewind flight path. Messenger should be, like, along here. We should see him, I think. I think a lot of people try to cut through right there. But there's these um, scalding elementals, and you do not want to just run through them. If you're going to walk that area, you need to kill them as you go. And so I see a lot of people die from the scalding elementals, I think, because they try to cut the corner right there. Instead of just walking along the path like this. Because those guys will fuck you up. Oh, I don't see the... Well, let's go this way. Let's go along his path and see if we can get the messenger. So he just runs back and forth and around and stuff on this little path here. Poor, poor druid in Hillsbrad. I think this is quest. This quest right here, like as soon as you accept it, you fight waves, and it's an elite quest, so you don't want to accept that one until you're ready to do it. I think. Well, come on, where's the messenger? I don't think he has much of a respawn timer if someone killed him. Is this orange line, right? Yeah. Are you in there, messenger? No, I don't think so. I think someone must have killed him.
There he is. Got him. Come here, boy. It's time to come hang out with me. You have to die now. All right, now we can go to Free Wind. Everything's so orange here. Excuse me. Like, look at how tall that everything is. It's like ridiculous. You can absolutely tell running through here that this used to be like a serious canyon with like water flowing through it and everything. You can totally, totally tell. Water clearly carved this, and it's dried up since then. This is one of my favorite parts of, uh, of the zone right here. I just think it's so funny how, like, this rock, it just wobbles. It's just a wobbly rock, and it never falls down. Wobble, wobble, wobble. For forever. And I love it for that. Like, look at it. It's gonna fall on me, but it's not. But it could. But it's not, but it could. It could totally fall on me. I'm just gonna walk under it. Whew, it didn't fall. Alliance also, like, has to run by these guards here. <laughs> So, like, getting 2,000 Needles and staying in 1,000 Needles is just, like, it's just, like, very dangerous for Alliance peoples. Very, very dangerous. Now we have to go up to another Tauran encampment that we could fall off of, just like Thunder Bluff. Oh, that was dangerous, dude. Should not just jump on an elevator like that that's already moving. That's how you get, like, messed up glitches and fall and die. Alright, here we go. Torin place. Well met. Go in Peace, friend. May the eternal sun shine upon thee. Mm. 
What brings you here? How may I aid you? All right. We got the flight path. We got all the quests. Okay. So I know um, it's a little bit earlier than we normally end, but I think we're just at like a really good spot. So like, I don't want to do any of these quests, even though I know I'm well supposed met. to. How long does it take to fly to Stone Talon? It's only five minutes, six minutes to fly to Sunrock Retreat. I think we fly there and turn in Ordanus. Very well. And get some of that experience. Instead of continuing in Thousand Needles. Because we don't really have... Like, I started... We wouldn't We wouldn't get through any of this. Where does this turn in go? Oh. That's up. Okay. Yeah, that's up here. Yeah, so we'll fly over and turn in Ordanus. So then we have both of the den quests. It's funny, like we finish we finish Stone Talon, like it's done, but like there's that really high level, like elite corner up there. Maybe we can open next time on doing that depending on what level it is and if we can get a group together. Because you really want to have a full group for that. And 30 is a little bit low because I think they're both... Yeah, 29 plus. And I think that when we turn in Ardanus, the den, the actual quest called the den, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, is also going to say 29 plus. Yeah. So there's the key master right there. It's funny, some of these zones, when you traverse through them, you discover, like, everything, and then some zones, like, there's these huge gaps that we're not, that we didn't use. Like, we didn't do, have to do any of this stuff here, here, here. I mean, it's definitely, uh, Ashenville's more of an alliance zone, so, you know, we discover everything here. There's gaps in Mulgore, which is funny. You don't end up going over here, and even though it's a whole other area to discover. Same with this, like, you don't have to go over here. Cause I, cause there's the harpies over here, but I always end up killing them over here instead. There's Desolus. We'll go there at some point. Why that isn't coded as a dungeon quest, I will never understand. Oh, there's random Badlands quests I can get. Oh, there's this one, of course, up here. It's so funny that Horde can come up here and do this quest, but it's, like, way too dangerous to get to in Hardcore because, like, I'd have to swim up Stranglethorn Vale and there's, like, so much shit that, can, that could kill me. So, like, that is so not worth it. Welcome to the jungle! I kind of want to like finish up Stone Talon before we move on to uh, Thousand Needles, so maybe we'll try to do that next time we stream WoW. Yeah, this doesn't list a reward. I think it's just it's just experiencing gold, and then you get the next quest. see how much is my defense behind now oh we only got one we only got the one level so it's only five points behind so I'll catch that up in between streams I have plenty of time wands always I use my wand so much it's always like right there no problems caught up every time I 
I swear defense levels slower though, like literally levels slower than weapon skills. I don't know if that's true, if it's just like, I just don't get hit very much, so I, I feel like it does, but I think it does. We'll land and turn in Ordonis and pick up the next quest. And the den is kind of like the end boss area of, um, of Stone Talon. Right, hey, Blood Elf friend. Hello. What brings or hi, Elf. Here? I'm not actually sure. Whatever. I'm listening. Hello. Okay, yes, this is the den. All right, so let me go into the end. Yeah, 29 plus 29 plus, and we're 30. I don't know. Maybe we should risk it. Maybe we should risk it and try to do it. If we get a group together, we to with full group, we totally can, and it'll be easy peasy. But yeah, okay, we're going to end there. So if you are watching this, uh, this recorded VOD, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.